Hey everyone and welcome to another video and today we're taking a look at a range extender for some of the DJI Air series or the mini series drones. So any of the drones that use this particular controller um, you can pretty much use this with any of those. Um, it's a very simple contraption, um, not that expensive. I think it was only about maybe 10 or 12 pounds off Amazon. There are several types and what I did do was um, just have a quick search on YouTube as to what other people recommend. And um, there were a few useful videos as well that kind of tried to prove uh, whether or not these, th these things actually do anything. So what I did do was I purchased this last week. I was actually working long hours, so I didn't have a chance to actually uh, get out and test it but I have uh, managed to do that yesterday. Later on in this video I will have two inserts. The first one will be a test run uh, that I basically fl flew the drone using just the controller so without the uh, range extender installed and then the second one was with the range extender installed. So a very simple packaging um, when you get it from Amazon it literally just comes in a sleeve um, and then you have a sort of protective case, which is nice, just so then you've got somewhere to store it. Um, tiny bit of foam at the bottom. So the actual contraption itself, the extender, it's simply a sort of series of met metal antennas, if you like, almost, almost like a TV aerial, an old style TV aerial. And basically what it's doing is it's trying to extend the range uh, by giving it more surface area um, as opposed to the antennas that are actually built in. So on these particular types of controllers, uh, this section here is the actual antenna itself. So that's why a lot of the times when you're flying your drone, you'll get the message saying um, reposition or reorientate uh, the antennas in order to get a better uh, signal. So the way this works is it's very simple. You simply click it onto the back. So I'll just move this out of the way. So that's basically how your antennas look. Your phone obviously fits into this front side of it. And all you're doing is you're literally just pushing this onto the back and you hear a little snap. And on the sides, um, I'm not sure whether they intended this or not, but if you actually take a look, on the sides you do actually have a little notch just, just here uh, on both sides. So I'm not sure whether they actually thought about creating something first party um, for this as well. I've not actually seen any first party ver uh, versions, but um, there's, there's loads of third party versions that you can actually try. Whether or not they all do the same thing, I'm not sure, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll put a link for this particular one in the description below. So in terms of fitting on, it's very simple. You literally just click it on. It doesn't interfere with the phone because it is on the back side. And when you're holding it, it doesn't really get in the way or anything. It's, it's pretty natural in terms of once you have it installed. Because I do have the actual DJI uh, bag that comes with it, I wouldn't actually leave these installed because they'll most likely get damaged in that particular bag. If you do have a bigger storage box or something, um, an additional uh, carrying case or something, some sort of protective case, then it might be okay to leave this installed. But otherwise I would suggest to literally just remove it and chuck it back in the case because it, as you can see, it doesn't take long. Right, so for the rest of the video, what I'll do is I'll insert the clips and basically just give you a brief um, demonstration. This was a very brief one because this whole week we were expected to have pretty bad weather. And what I did do was literally the only day that we were gonna have any decent weather. I've got out and I've tried to fly the drone as much as I can. Uh, I just did two simple runs. I took the drone as far as I could go um, on the first uh, run, just going straight from the point where I took off. I then brought the drone back, put a new battery in, um, and basically took off in exactly the same path. And obviously you guys can see from the video yourselves uh, whether or not it worked. Okay, so this is the voiceover for this section of the video. And as you can see, we've got to about a thousand feet. At this point, um, I, I didn't realize, but these settings in for the controller had actually changed. But if you look in the top right of the um, w image at the moment, you'll notice that the it's, it's basically dropped into the orange in terms of satellite um, reception or s signal strength. Um, so at this point, what I'm trying to do is just basically check make sure uh, it is on 5.8 because that's what I'm going to be testing it against when I've got the antenna installed and as you can see at 1200 feet it's starting to really struggle once I push it beyond that uh, you'll notice before it gets to 1400 feet um, the signal drops out 
and basically at this point the app also disconnects um, it loses connection completely and the automatic return to home is actually activated Okay, so here we are for the second run now, and this is with the range extender installed. What you see in the background is just me switching it to 5.8 gigahertz mode, which you have to have it in in order for these um, antennas to actually work. So now we're setting off in exactly the same path. So I'm stood in pretty much exactly the same place as well. Um, and straight away, once we get to this sort of point, the first thing we'll notice is once it approaches 1200-ish feet, um, we do, I think, have a little bit of a fluctuation. So you can see just now, um, but then instantly um, it seems to pick back up again. So at this point, previously, it would be in the orange. Right now you can see we're well past 1300 feet, um, and this is where it occasionally drops down into the orange but then recovers again and what i did find also was the longer you actually leave it for in the air and hovering um, the better the signal actually gets now previously whenever i've actually flown down towards this sainsbury's um, i could never get um, anywhere actually near it so i couldn't actually get to the the car park um, now one mistake that I did actually make in this sort of test was I actually took the drone higher which I think that may have actually um, worked towards actually improving the signal. Um, at this point you can see it's still at the same sort of distance but you can see it's over 1400 feet and we've still got a sort of between yellow and white signal bar in the top right. Um, at this point the previously it had completely dropped out and it basically it lost connection and it was doing an automated return to home. Now just now I actually realized that um, for some reason the drone, oh, because I've not used it in quite a while, all the settings seems to have changed with the last update so it, it, it had actually switched to FP, FPV mode. Um, so I literally just disabled that and now I'm flying over a different location where this is an old cinema that we used to have here in Derby and um, you can see that right now I have rock solid um, reception so basically the signal strength is full pretty much. Um, previously whenever I came to this sort of area uh, it would be in the orange at best. Um, sometimes it would be literally dropping out but it would never be full bars. As you can see, I have raised it up slightly higher, so that may have contributed, but just prior to that, it was actually flying um, at the same sort of 160-ish uh, feet above, um, and at that point, it was still fine. So it does look like the range extenders work. Um, as you can see, it's well past the 1400 meter mark, uh, sorry, feet mark here, uh, going past 1600. And as you'll see a little later on, um, obviously we, we do have to factor in the fact that this is slightly higher. Ideally, what I want to do is repeat this um, test in an open area where I can actually keep the same um, height for both runs. Uh, on this occasion, basically, because I was literally in a hurry, I just wanted to try and get something in. But as you can see here, um, I'm now passing almost 2,000 feet. Um, yes, it is a little higher, but the distance should also compensate for that as well. And as you can see, it's only now dropping into the orange at 2,200 feet. So almost a 1,000 feet further, being just 90 feet higher um so yeah um for me at this point yeah as you can see it's uh, this is what i was mentioning before so occasionally it will actually start to weaken but if you just let it hover and actually um i think at this point i actually moved away from my uh, where i stood because there was there was a pole and uh, a tree just there as well so i thought maybe that might actually be interfering now that we've gone this this distance away um but yeah as you can see, 2200 feet plus. Um, if you go higher, then hopefully the signal then improves even further. And this is just a test to see um, whether it's possible to actually go further in an urban area. 
and as you can see it's it's more than done that um, almost doubling the distance um, it was able to cover initially so in an urban area if it can cope with this and it can um, show a definite increase and improvement then in theory uh, we can we can say for sure that the antenna is definitely working and for anybody out there that wants to actually get further distance and get better range when they are out in the open and they, they literally just want to capture some um, some beautiful scenery or something like that then for those people obviously this is a pretty cheap um, option to actually improve the drone quite quite drastically because uh, when I first got the drone um, I was only getting like uh, 400 odd meters um, range and yes whilst those were very challenging um, areas where I was actually testing it even still it was it was a very uh, short range compared to the 12k that um, is is advertised so obviously this even if it's only a little bit um, and any little boost that you can get is, is always going to make the, the product better.